make me every time Charlie Spring speaks. That was beautiful. You did such a good job of expressing yourself. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are well. So today is a new style of video. What I'm going to be doing is talking about some of my favourite book characters and then recommending you booktubers based off of those book characters. I'm a genius. <laughs> I'm going to be doing four of each, so four pairs. Let me know if you think that's a good number. I want these booktubers to like have a bit of a spotlight. So I don't want to do too many so that some get lost or whatever, but I don't want to do too few. So I feel like four might be a good place to start, but let me know if you want this again and let me know how many you would want in a video. And also, <laughs> another thing I realised when trying to plan this video is I had this idea and then in the planning process I suddenly realised I am much more of a plot reader than a character reader. So although I have characters I loved, I struggled to explain why I loved them so much. So if there's things that this character has done that are a bit shitty, then please don't be offended, the people that I'm recommending. <laughs> All the booktubers when I cast them as villains. Hmm. Bitch. Mother <laughs> piece of shit. One of my favourite characters of all time is Rin from the Poppy War, but I found it really hard to think of a booktuber that wouldn't mind being compared to Rin. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe down below. I have no idea why I'm hugging myself and hit the bell notification if you haven't yet already. Okay, let's go. I'm very excited. <laughs> so my first favorite character ever is Charlie Spring from the Heartstopper graphic novel series. This is Charlie, that's Nick. The Heartstopper graphic novel series, aka one of my favorite things of all time. I definitely do a reread because it's been like six months, which is far too long since I've read any of these. It is a boy meets boy and boy from in love a romance graphic novel series. And it's just the sweetest thing ever. It deals with a lot of heavy topics like figuring out your sexuality and eating disorders but it does it in such a soft caring way and just the art style is just the most beautiful thing ever. The face expressions just kill me. Charlie Spring, my dear Charlie Spring, <laughs> is a very emotionally intelligent character. He's so kind and caring. He's like to me the epitome of a soft cinnamon roll character. That's not a term I use very often. If there ever was a soft cinnamon roll it is Charlie Spring. I just think he's someone who is really able to easily put himself in other people's shoes and empathize and he's just very caring to those around him to who he loves. Me every time Charlie Spring speaks. That was beautiful. You did such a good job of expressing yourself. So the booktuber I'm going to be recommending based off of Charlie is Aaron from Booked and Busy. Now Aaron is great if you want fantasy recommendations. She's definitely someone I go to for new fantasy recommendations. She is just one of the sweetest people on booktube. She is the epitome of a cinnamon roll character too, but she's a real person. <laughs> I love watching her live shows. She was doing a live show the other day where just the way she spoke about understanding people's situations and looking outside of ourselves was so enlightening and just like it was just wonderful to listen to and her videos give me that calming yet vibrant energy that Heartstopper does like there's an element of it that is very calming and relaxing and soft but there's also something that's filled with happiness and life and vibrancy and I feel like they're just the exact same vibe her videos and Heartstopper so for what? I'm you. Definitely go check out Erin if you haven't already. I love her videos. Okay, my next favourite character. This one was hard as well to think of a booktuber for. But it is Darby from No Exit. No Exit is about a girl called Darby who gets snowed in at this rest stop and there's only a few other people that rest up with her and she goes out to a the car park and then finds that in one of the vans there is a young girl who has very obviously been kidnapped and it is the story of her having to fight against the kidnapper this isn't linked to the booktuber but like this book one of the most stressed out books like i've never been more stressed out it gave me heart palpitations i was sweating like it it wasn't pretty like it wasn't a good time oh jesus gross but I loved this thriller. I gave it five stars. And what I what I wanted to mention about Darby is like, with Darby, the thing she manages to pull off, the stunts this girl manages to pull off in the situation are just incredible. Like you are sitting there reading it going, how is she doing this? How is she that powerful? Yes, 
She is a bitch. B-I-C-T-H. She pulls energy and commitment and ingenuity out of nowhere in the most troubled circumstances. She's such a strong character. She pushes on through everything and she's like constantly surprising you with everything that she can do. Obviously, running away from an evil person and booktube are two very different things. Like, <laughs> It's very hard for me in my mind to compare. So I had to be a little bit imaginative, but the booktuber I'm gonna be recommending is Hannah from Snow White Reader. I love Hannah. Hannah has been one of the booktubers I have watched for the longest time. And my link and my comparison here is that Hannah is constantly surprising me and amazing me with the video ideas and the videos that she puts out. Like this girl, constantly taking it to the next level, just like Darby is in very different circumstances. <laughs> Hannah just always puts out a video I'm just like, wow, your mind, like really and truly, where does it come from? <laughs> hey queen, girl, you have done it again. Constantly raising the bar for us all and doing it flawlessly. So if you really like creative videos, you know, videos that push the boundaries, that are something a bit different on booktube, Hannah is definitely my go-to person. She's generally one of the most creative booktubers I know. She did a writing a song for Bella Swan video, and one of my personal favorites is Jane Austen and Charlotte Bronte go for a road trip. I loved that video so much. Hannah also strikes me as very clever, which, I feel like if she was in Darby's situation, she would be able to pull off the stunts. I think if Hannah was put in the worst situation, she'd actually be able to pull it out of the bag. My next favorite character is Ella from Gemina. This book is one of the funniest books ever, but Ella, I think, ooh, Eva, Ella? <laughs> Oh my mind, oh it amazes me sometimes. But Ella is so hilarious. So all I can really say on this is that we're on a different ship, maybe? Can I say that? I think I can, it's not a spoiler. And we're following different characters than we did in Illuminate. Ella is a member of the House of Knives, which is a gang, a familial gang, so it's through her family that she's a member of it, a gang on the ship. Earlier on in life, Ella was paralyzed from the waist down. And so where she's really found her passion is through hacking on the computer. She's so, so talented at hacking and it plays a really big role in the story. She's kind of like a secondary character. She's not one of our two main characters in Gemina, but she's so hilarious. I would just look forward to the scenes with Ella in. I'd be like racing through the pages, be like, where's Ella? Where is Ella? I just need Ella. <laughs> That's all I want. She has kind of like this tough exterior, which like the booktube I'm recommending doesn't, but she's so funny and so soft at heart. She has such a big heart. And I just think she's one of my favorite book characters I've ever read. And because of how this is told through multimedia, if you don't know, this whole series is kind of like through chat logs and video surveillance cameras and emails. Because of that, like we mainly know Ella through the chat logs. And so I just think it's brilliant how she becomes such a well-rounded character in such a short space of time and through a medium that is very different than what we're used to. So definitely pick up the Illuminate series if you haven't already yet. So for Ella, I wanted to think of a booktuber whose editing I really enjoy because she's so good at hacking. But for this, I'm going with Sabine from Sabine's Book Nook. I love her editing. She is so incredibly talented at everything she does. <laughs> and she's so funny. I think with Sabine, I've done a couple of lives with her and like I've watched, I watch her videos all the time and she'll come out with lines that you don't expect. And that to me is one of the funniest things. Not when someone makes a really obvious joke, but when someone just pulls something out of the bag that you did not expect. I just love watching her videos because of her quick wit and she's just so funny but she also has this massive heart like Ella and her videos are just so aesthetically pleasing to watch, such a joy to watch. Also, okay, linking to the tough exterior thing, whatever, like Sabine doesn't have a tough exterior but when I first watched her it was before I had my own booktube channel, so like over a year ago, I was kind of intimidated by her and I don't know why and she doesn't know this, so like a profound silence has entered the chat. I don't know why, because she's such a warm, welcoming person, but I was just, I just thought she was too cool for me. I was very intimidated by her. So that's kind of the tough exterior part that Ella has, I guess, but she's just lovely. She's so lovely, so definitely go watch her if you haven't already. And then the last of my favourite characters is Tilly from Pages and Co, Tilly and the Book Wanderers by Anna James. This is a middle grade, so Tilly is a young girl. She lives above her parents' bookshop, and Tilly starts to see characters from her favourite books, but it's a really magical magical kid's story. And Tilly is very inquisitive. She's always wanting to learn. She loves adventure. Like this story is very based around that want to seek and learn and have an adventure. And 
Tilly, I just see as a very adventurous character. This book, just on the whole, has a really cosy feeling because it's set in a bookshop and this kind of old rickety bookshop at that, it just has the most cosy, warm, comforting feeling. So for this, I had to recommend a booktuber who reads a lot of middle grade and that is Jade from JD Ray Reads. I love Jade's vlogs. I love her vlogs so much. They have that cosy feeling that this has. I just feel like Jade is a bit inquisitive. I don't know why, this could be completely wrong. Like I could be completely misjudging her character. Mama Roo, still me. Also, she does have a TBR game called TBR Pursuit, which is like Trivial Pursuit, and that feels like you're going on an adventure. TBR Pursuit is always nervy, you never know what you're gonna get, you never know what TBR Pursuit is gonna turn up. So it feels like you're going on a bit of an adventure when you watch it, just like you go on adventures with Tilly in this. So I love Jay's videos, I watch like, she's, as soon as I see one of her thumbnails pop up, I'm like, okay, I'm clicking on that. She is just such a joy to watch, so I would definitely recommend watching her if you haven't already. So there we have it, that is four booktuber recommendations based off of some of my favourite book characters. Let me know if you watch any of these booktubers already and how much you love them because I want to hear it <laughs> and I'm actually going to be I mentioned Sabine I just realized I'm going to be on Leone's channel with Sabine they have a book club together and I'm going to be the guest for their episode on the poppy war which again I wanted to fit into this video I just couldn't find a way how so definitely go subscribe to Leone's channel down below I'll leave that linked if you have read the poppy war and want to join us I love the poppy war so I cannot wait to chat all about it I've got a lot of exciting things lined up soon that I'm going to be announcing in the next couple of weeks so again make sure you ring the bell so that you'll be notified whenever I post because there's so many exciting stuff Also follow me on Twitter and Instagram because I'll be announcing it all on there and things can get lost on YouTube So everything is made with books. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you very very soon with another one. Bye!